did you make of that game? Yeah, um, two parts. Uh, first hour, uh, good, uh, uh, well performing, uh, playing as a team, a uh, lot of dynamic, good pressing. Um, uh, so it was really enjoyable to see. Uh, and that is what I wanted to say to the team in the halftime. And then all of a sudden, they gave two goals away and it were really giveaways. So that was already annoying. But the last half an hour, uh, that was bad, it was poor performance. Uh, didn't follow the rules at all, not in pressing, uh, not in building up and not in attacking. So there were 11 individuals finally on the pitch and that wasn't good at all. I think it's important there, you know, you've mentioned them about those standards too. You want to raise those high standards as well for the season. You've said it throughout this whole tour. When you reflect on this tour, have you think it's been very useful for the team? I think so. So uh, same I said to the team, I think it was a good tour. But you want to finish with a good performance and you see only 60 minutes where I was pleased with, uh, but not with the goals uh, we conceded because it was a really poor, uh, first one really poor defending and the second one uh, really poor in building up and uh, that is not us. Uh, you have to keep the control and you have to keep the responsibility on the ball and it was the same uh, on the 3-2 for uh, Dortmund, so uh, can't happen. Is unforgivable, even if it's a friendly. He's watching, obviously, young Amari Forsen. What was the mess message to him? Because obviously, he's in his. That was a learning, a big learning curve for him. I think so. When there is a VAR, he uh, he got sent off, and uh, yeah, he played a good game, uh, and the, the opponent gets annoyed with him, <laughs> so that uh, that is a earning. But yeah, don't uh, take it in own in own hands. Hey, you can't be the judge. Uh, you have to play football, you have to beat your opponent, you have to net and that is the best way uh, to react. Do you think in the end that the travelling and caught up with the players, obviously a few were a little bit tired during the pre-season, do you think anything like that caught up with you in the end? Yeah, but you play so long in top football <laughs> and there are never excuses. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. We have to, to perform no matter what and um, and then you have to be ruthless and, uh, and win games because we are Man United yep. and the fans expecting from us wins. And now there are two pre-season friendlies left before the season starts. After the great experiences that we've had in America, what do you want to see in those next two games? Oh, we are, uh, first we have to return, of course. Um, then we have one day off. But you see also at yeah, the last half an hour, uh, we have to get back to standards with mm -hmm. that team and to get back into the patterns of what is needed to get a good league start. And then uh, we have two games in the weekend and then we have still more than a week to prepare the first game of the season. Well, thank you very much for your time, Eric, and have a safe trip back. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Christian, how has it been, you know, this American pre-season tour? Yeah, I think it's been, uh, it's been good. I mean, it's been uh, a lot of games. It's been... Uh, too much traveling, to be honest, but uh, it's been nice to see all the fans and you see this show up today. It's, uh, it's incredible and uh, it's nice to give something back to all the fans that uh, see us through the season. I think now as well, you know, with that game today, what did you make of the performance as a whole? Yeah, I think we played a very strong game apart from the result. Obviously, we, we lost. It's a, it's a big disappointment, but I think we, we tried what we could and I think we played a, a strong 43 minutes of first half and uh, second half as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when we... When we make the mistakes we do, they, they get punished. Do you think that your fitness levels now, fitness levels have got to a point where you, you're ready to start the season or the next two games sharpen you up a little bit? No, it's def it definitely, uh, it's feeling easier and easier going into the games. You're feeling more prepared, you're feeling more energetic. Of course, it's been tough with a lot of the sessions, a lot of the, the traveling and, and training, but it's been, uh, it's nice to get going and you feel that body-wise as well. You're getting in a good shape and, and it feels good to be uh, playing more and more. What's been, the, what's been the hardest part of the tour? Is it being isolated or, you know, do you see that as a bonus, spending time with your teammates? I don't know what's been the hardest. I mean, uh, we expect a uh, tough uh, pre-season wherever you go. Uh, of course, there's been uh, probably, for me, been too much traveling around, uh, playing different places, but uh, it has to happen. And uh, yeah, we, we adapt. I mean, as, uh, everyone, I think, is uh, happy to go home, obviously, but we enjoyed our time here. And you personally? How do you think this pre-season has gone for you personally? Yeah, I think it's been good. Uh, I mean, of course, pre-season is more or less getting the, the confidence and getting the the minutes and uh, yeah minutes to get going and be ready for for the real for the real work, which is of course is the Premier League and uh, and so on. But uh, 
No, I think personally it's been a, it's been a good start. Good, good, good. It is a lot of travelling that we have to do on these pre-season tours, but the bonus of it is to meet these international fans right here that have to wake up at early hours of the morning, dedicated throughout the season to watch it. How nice has it been for you and the rest of the players to give back to the fans? No, I think it's incredible. Like I started to say, with all the, the fans that showed up to uh, even at the hotel or training ground or now in the stadiums, I mean, it's, it's special. And uh, yeah, obviously we try to give something back with playing the football that we uh, we enjoy and trying to, to create some goals and, uh, and let them enjoy the game as much as we do. Uh, but it's very nice to see so many people. And now it's getting ever so closer to the start of the season. Are you excited for it? Yeah, very much. I mean, that's uh, that's what we do pre-season for, to, to be ready for for the real games and uh, that's what it's all about. I mean, uh, you have to dig in for pre-season and when the league starts you have to be uh, to be ready and uh, that's what we will be. Well, thank you very much, Christian. Join us. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers.